everyone, it's Nisha. So today I'm going to do for you this easy, smoky holiday look. Um, it is quite dark and really smoky, but I think for this time of year it's absolutely fine. I've used just one, well, two, but you could use just one eyeshadow. It is very quick, very easy, but quite nice for a party. So if you want to see how it's done, keep on watching. Okay, so let's start. So the first and the star of this makeup is the new Cosmetics Mineral Loose Eyeshadow in Vintage. And I've just spilled most of it on myself. Be careful when you open it. It, it does have a sifter, but I don't close it, silly. So um, it all falls out. It is a um, garnet colour, I would say. It's absolutely beautiful. has a bit of um, shimmer in it. And it just glides on like butter. It doesn't really get much fallout once you tap it off. I was so surprised. The best brush that I found for applying this is the Real Technique Shading Brush. So I'm going to pick up some of that eyeshadow and I'm going to tap it off and I will start depositing it on my mobile lid and as you notice I am pressing instead of um, going in it like swiping motions and I'm just going to fill up the mobile lid with it first and with whatever I have left, as you can see, I'm going in like a, a dome shape. I'm just going up and up. Don't worry at this stage about the finish hash lines because we will blend it all out. And I'm just going to keep layering it on till I get the depth that I desire. I'm going now to go over to my other eye before I do anything else. You might get tiny fallout if you if you are careful you won't but for loose eyeshadow honestly this is amazing when it comes to sticking to your eye and to be honest I haven't even put on any um, eyeshadow primer I just have concealer on my eye and I've powdered it so I don't even have any eye primer so you end up with something like this and of course you know when you've got hooded eyes that wouldn't do much for you because when I um, look straight forward and relax my eyebrows you can hardly see it and makes me more hooded but when we start going with it higher and higher we're gonna cover the hood because obviously the dark color pushes things away it hides them so we will just look very smoky and mysterious so just keep tapping it on to the depth that you want you could leave it like this now i'm going to take mac to 17 and start blending it upwards I'm not picking up any more colour, I'm just blending with what I've got on my lid and pulling it, pulling it up and out because we don't want to go down to make our eye up, appear even more droopy. As you can see I'm going quite high because once I relax my eye I want to be able to see the eyeshadow. You can actually see the difference um, how this eye, even though I only have dark eyeshadow because I covered the hood with the darkness, whereas this hood is nice and light so you can really see it. You can see the difference. This eye seems to be much more open. Okay, let's do this eye now. And when you blend in, you can use sort of these motions and like little circular motions. Because that's what smoky eye really is. Traditional smoky eye is like smoke, it's very concentrated here, and as it goes up, it gets lighter and lighter. So, um, this is really classic.
smoky look. If you feel that smoky look like this makes you look like you've been punched in the eye, don't go so close to the inner corner with the dark one. Leave tiny bit um, of an empty and fill it with something lighter. I will put a bit of like a highlighting color in there at the end. So, but now I'm just gonna pat more and more of this eyeshadow because I want it to be really, really deep. You can use this eyeshadow sweat as well. And now I'm going to concentrate this, um, put more colour, but more on the outer portion of my eye, not on the inner. Because obviously that's where my hoodies they wear, so I want to make it dark and disappear. So pat the colour on and then blend it. Okay, now I'm going to do the bottom lash line. Okay, so I'm going to take my 219, which is a pencil brush, and go with it underneath my eye. Very gently. Again, don't go like this because uh, the eyeshadow might be spraying everywhere. So just go in one direction, gently. And again, if you've got bags under your eyes, as I have, um, and by bags I mean again this um, hanging skin, not dark circles, that's a different thing. Um, when you use quite thickly eyeshadow down the bottom of your um, lash line, I, I feel personally that that detracts from the bags. Okay, let's do a bit more blending. Then take a clean blending brush and without anything on it, just go over this edge just so you don't have, you can see I'm going quite high with it, almost under my eyebrows because I can, I really want to see it. Just blend the harsh edges so it looks like a smoke, like it's going into nothing. Now drop your eyes down like I just did and you see I can see still see my eyeshadow. If I went only down to my crease um, you wouldn't see it once you've opened your eyes. Okay now I think I'm going to go in a corner just with a bit of highlighter and I'm going to use um, Another one of Neve Cosmetics Mineral Shadow, which is called Liquid Mirror. It's a beautiful champagne. I wouldn't even call it gold. It's like a champagne beige. I'm going to take a tiny brush. So I'm going to pop it on a little brush and just go slightly in a corner just to give a bit of pop of shine and also brighten up that corner, open up that corner. Okay, and now to make it even more smoky and dramatic, I'm going to add black eyeliner. And today I'm using just a coal liner, Mastic Casual Coal Liner from Maybelline. It's one of those fat ones. Um, they are perfect to use when you don't need to be very precise and you don't because this portion is so dark you're not gonna see the fine line so all I do I just run this line on the top of my lash line quite thin at first Then I'm going to put it in my waterline, but when I put my core liner in waterline, a lot of people complain that they 
um, liner doesn't last because you don't actually want to put it, yeah, you do put it in a waterline, but you make sure that you're going in between the roots of the eyelashes because that will always stay there. So you put it on your waterline, but more towards your eyelashes than inside your eye, if you know what I mean. And then I go like this with it. Must make a wing. Um, and it is not very precise because this is very thick, but that's fine. I want it to be thick. I just find curl liners are a bit more forgiving. You can even smudge it if it's not um, if it's not even then just take um, one of those spongy applicators or even a brush and you can smudge it a bit so it looks like supposed to be that shape and now what we've got left is mascara and I'm going to use today I've got Mali volumizing mascara I've had it for ages I'm trying to use up my mascaras because I have so many and my very favorite one from Kiko the ultra tech I've used it up and I'm tempted to go and buy another one, but I promised myself that I use what I've got first because it's just everything sitting there and it's not being used. I'm going to use my Coco Lashes in number 202, which I adore, and my Eskido Lash Glue. These lashes I just I love them so much they are one of my favorite but unfortunately because if you look at them look how straight they are they don't have any bend in them and they can be quite challenging I try to bend them but they can be quite challenging to stick they they tend to ping um, at the corner because obviously the band is so straight it doesn't want to follow the natural line of your eye which is a shame so I'm on a mission to find eyelashes that are that sort of style but have more bend in them Okay, eyelashes done, let's do, let's do the lips. You could go for it and put some dark, vampy lips, but you know, I love my nude lip, especially with um, strong eye like this. So I'm going to use a combo, well, the lip liner and lipstick that I haven't actually used for a long time. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury um, Iconic Nude. which I love. It's one of my favorite nude lip liners. I'm finding it difficult to apply it because I had gloss, really sticky gloss before this on my lips. So I didn't wipe it off properly. And I'm going to use my Tom Ford Nude Vanille, which I haven't used for ages. And I forgot how much I love it. Go over with the it's not working out very well because of that gloss and I'm going to top it off with my Rimmel on my gloss uh, in Peg Glossy Cut I've been using the, this gloss every day like I said it's one of those that goes with everything and it's just beautiful it's not sticky it's just a very 
buttery and glossy and this is your finished look so I hope you liked it, it's so easy, you can do it with any eyeshadow really uh, if you don't like um, you could do it with much warmer eyeshadow, like a you know toffee colored. You can do it with gray, black, with anything. But all you need is really one eyeshadow. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching, and I see you soon. Bye.